And, and we, we just have a special presentation because this mother is the head of our mother's board. None other than our own mother, Panola Minton, who is going to be celebrating 90 years. 90 years. 90. Yes. Yes. And she's coming up. We wanted you to be a part of this great, her story. You all get it? Instead of his story, it's her story. Hallelujah. And, and I'm hoping they'll be able to run some of the pictures. And we have some special, <laughs> we have some special things for you, mother. 90 years is a great blessing. That's nine decades. Hallelujah. Wow. And look at her. Look how good she looks. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and she kept us in line at the breakfast yesterday. We had a breakfast, and Mother kept us in line. She gave us a word yesterday. Amen. Amen. So we have special the all nations church family and your family and especially your granddaughter sean who helped to plan this time sean is up in the booth and and here we go here we go our our honoree go ahead and run it while we're talking There is mother for young ladies. And she had a message for mothers. Amen. Without my glasses, I'm unable to see it. But however, you all read that. Deacon Minton, you all remember? Amen. For why? for church workers, amen. Mother has a message. Yes, mother you wanna share, since they can't get the audio, just some briefly, whatever you want to say. I think she's entitled. Thank God for being here today. And God has been good to me down through the years. I came here in the early 60s, and I've been here ever since then. I've been busy doing different things, everything they ask and tell me to do. I've done that for them, and they never said to me it was wrong. So I do thank God for what he is to me and what he has been to me for down through the years uh, for the uh, this is the 90th year, and I thank God because God has been good to me. And uh, <laughs> I can say God has been good to me. I know God loves me because he's the one brought me down through the years. <laughs> I've never been a sick person. I've been to the hospital. I've been to the hospital for overnight four times in my life. Wow. And I only had one surgery, and that was on my right knee. I had my knee replaced, and, uh, and that's most of the sickness and whatever I've gone through down through the years. And I thank God how good God has been to me year after year. And uh, 
I figured when I came in the door there was something going on because I heard somebody say something. And I knew now, uh huh. They they was trying to get something <laughs> on me and then my granddaughter came over and I had pictures, I had a box of pictures. And she came over and she messed up this couch and had pictures everywhere. I want this picture and I want that picture. And I didn't know, oh, what you want pictures for? And she never would say, that's okay, I'm gonna get you, Shanti. <laughs> Some gifts for you, mother. What up, y'all? How y'all doing? I hope y'all all, all is well with y'all. Um, as the previous video, I I had to bootleg the video off of YouTube because, as y'all know, when I go to church on Sundays, I'm in a booth and they don't they stream, they don't record. So my apologies. Um, you probably couldn't really hear my granny because she was talking low on the microphone. But anyways. Um, this episode is about her and just, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to give my granny her flowers while she was still here. And she just recently, like last week, I think last week she, uh, turned 90. You know what I'm saying? That's a big, big, huge step for us seeing as, um, a lot of us ain't turning 90. You know what I'm saying? These, uh, <clears throat> a lot of us ain't turning 90 around, around cheer. I couldn't even get it out. My bad, y'all. Yeah, but a lot of us ain't really turning 90. A lot of black people, we eating wrong. We we ain't taking care of our bodies. We ain't taking care. We just not taking care of us all together. And I can honestly say, like my granny said in the video, I don't know if y'all, like I said, I don't know if y'all heard her, but my granny really ain't no sick type person. Like, I, the only time I remember her ever being, <coughs> excuse me, hospitalized, for real, for real, is when she got her knee replaced. And that's been about it. Like, my granny ain't never been the one to lay up in the hospital. Never to be laid up at the house sick, sick. Um, but, yeah. She um, she just turned 90. They celebrated her at the church. They did a little surprise gathering for her at the church. And um, us grandkids that's here, she got four. Uh, three of us came with the great, the great grandkids and stuff like that. So she was uh that it was dope like i said i had to serve i had to do a lot of stuff excuse me so i really wasn't able to you know what i'm saying enjoy or whatever i pretty much was the host and i let her do her my sister and them was there so we got a couple of pictures or whatever but yeah like my granny only really had like two two kids she had two kids she um from uh grenada mississippi down there um, she was the oldest of nine, nine kids. You know what I'm saying? She had to do the oldest, uh, thing. You know how older kids got to take your responsibilities. Not saying that her mother wasn't a mother, but she also had to help in the house. So she ended up having to drop out of high school and, uh, you know, help with the bills or stuff. And, um, finally she got to come up here. She met my uh, grandfather, her first husband. They had two kids and, um, he ended up passing away when my mother was nine and she remarried to another gentleman um my uh the grandfather that i know i don't know the first husband my mother's uh real father i know the stepfather so he ain't my step grandfather he my granddaddy because that's all i know so yeah she met him and they just had a crazy they had an amazing life it's crazy it was funny you know what i'm saying to just see them and my grandfather ended up passing a couple of years ago, you know. And so my granny, I really been taking care of her, you know what I'm saying. And I was always that grandchild that was like, you know, she, uh, I was always up on her. I was her first grandchild from her biological kids because my grandfather had his own kids. He had like nine to ten kids, you know what I'm saying. But when my mom had me, you she kind of took me up under her wing or whatever. And my grandmother, you know what I'm saying, showed me the ropes of being a woman. <clears throat> and um, how to keep house and all that stuff. But um, I feel like my grandmother overdid her part with being a grandmother. Um, when my mom wasn't able to take care of us and do what a mother was supposed to do. My granny always stepped up and stepped in or whatever. And it's not just with my mom kids, with my uh, aunt. Cause she had two girls when my aunt couldn't um take care of her kids it was you know what i'm saying she made sure that we always had we probably didn't have name brand but we had you know what i'm saying 
and she always looked out and i really appreciate my grandmother for that because my granny didn't have to do that you know what i'm saying she had her own household her own family to maintain and here she is stepping out of her uh way to make sure that her grandkids had you know what i'm saying and took up that spot when my mom was slacking and i ain't this ain't no shot at my mother you know what i'm saying everybody go through their trials and tribulations in their life you know what i'm saying and she had to you know what i'm saying endure some stuff that i've never had to endure so I'm not, there's no shot to my mom, but it is, you know what I'm saying, saying that my grandmother stepped up when she didn't have to step up, because I know it's a lot of grannies out there that was just like, they made my kids, I raised my kids already, you know what I'm saying, my kids grown, they out here doing whatever they gonna do, you know what I'm saying, so it's their time to raise their kids, they shouldn't went out and had these kids, and my, my granny only had two, my aunt and my mom had four apiece, so it's eight of us, so she had to, you know what I'm saying, step in and take care of eight more extra kids. And then plus her two kids, that's 10 people she got to feed that she didn't have to feed. But she did. She stepped, She did what she had to do. My grandmother was always into church. Um, as y'all heard on the video, I, I used to go to church with her every Sunday. And if, if y'all know, if y'all are um, back then... Church ain't like it was this, like it is now. You know what I'm saying? We go to church two hours, 12 to 2. You know what I'm saying? They do have Sunday school, 10, 10, 15 to uh, 12, and then they do the 12 to 2 or whatever. Church back then used to, you had to get up when the slaves got up and get dressed. Then you was at church at like, what, 8 30, 9 30, and you was there for forever. Like, it never, I felt like church continued until the next sunday like we never got out of church like you'll go home and go to church eat dinner and be right back at church for uh the night service i felt like i was a full-time job like dang and then it's like <clears throat> say some of the bible for next week or next time like why we gotta go through the whole from genesis to revelations every sunday like you gotta preach the whole bible every sunday but my granny was there every Sunday. My grandfather was there. My grandmother was, um, uh, the, uh, she, I, I don't know what they call, but you know, where they served the past, the nurses, they, she was a nurse. She would go in her all white, you know what I'm saying? And serve, uh, she, uh, anytime the bishop needed her, she was, you know what I'm saying? On, uh, on the phone, she was doing whatever she had to do for the church, for the service. You know what I'm saying? putting her uh make you make making sure her spot was good for the lord or whatever and my grip my mom uh grew up in the church so you know i grew up in the church so i know all these people that was on the video like i grew up with them and all that stuff but i think my grandmother was dope because like man she taught me a lot you know what I'm saying? She's still teaching me a lot. She still got wisdom up under her belt that she's still, you know what I'm saying, giving out. And she, you know what I'm saying, still showing us the game and how to play and how to play it. You know what I'm saying? Showing us life and life lessons. Like she it, it was I was the grandchild that was like, you know, I see everybody else, grandmothers passing away, their grandparents passing away, they don't have them no more. I was uh blessed to actually meet and and be uh be under both my parent my gra grandparents on my daddy's side and on my mama's side and my step um uh, my stepdad my two stepdads like uh and I know y'all like damn she got two stepdads but my mom after she had me she had three more kids with another man he always claimed me as his child so I claim all his kids as my sister and brothers and then the guy she actually spent his whole life with so um so the guy that she actually married he passed away but that was my second stepdad and then i got to meet his uh, his mother i got to meet you know what i'm saying my other stepdad pa uh, parents i got to meet my uh my mom parents my real dad parents and then i got to actually meet my granny mother as well before she passed away so i've been blessed and my my real my uh step grandfather and my real grandfather i got to meet all a lot of my grand grandparents so i was blessed to meet so many grandparents and get so much wisdom from them and you know what i'm saying just to sit at their feet and just listen to them talk like my grandmother on my uh my grandmother used to talk about how um it was back in slavery days like that's how oh like 
her parents were slaves and they used to tell us stories and then you know what i'm saying she would um tell us the same stories and you know how it how, how life is just revolving reflecting and it, it just i mean i'm proud to say that I got that much game from them, and I got that much wisdom from them. I ain't saying that I'm wise. I, I got plenty more years for that. But the stuff that they, you know how when your parents say something to you, you really don't know what that means, and they try to explain it to you, but you have to live. And then once you live it, it all makes sense. It's like, what? Okay, now I know what they was talking about. I I know I know what they was talking about. I know what you I'm I'm here with you. It took me a couple of years, but I'm here with you now. I understand what you're talking about now. I'm here with you. So it's coming in. I'm coming into those aha moments like ah, I know what she was talking about. I got it. I got it. And I, I'm grateful for those moments because I know a lot of people didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Or a lot of people, uh, grandparents has passed. And my grandmother has been there. For the whole de- duration of my life, I'm gonna be 41. My granny's still there. My I talk to my granny almost every day. If I don't talk to my granny, I'm hitting her line. Like, why you ain't call me? What you doing? Who you with? Where you going? Like, I I take care of my granny, and I feel I I thank God that I'm able to take care of my granny because my grandmother did so much for me when I was younger, and she took care of me. She always looked out for me. That it's just so much gratitude for me to you know what i'm saying to take care of her sometimes it'd be inconvenient because i really wanted to do this video earlier you know what i'm saying it's later in the day but i had to get up this morning i you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm trying to take care of my business and i thought i was gonna be able to take care of a little more of my own business but she called me and you know she wanted to do uh she wanted to go shopping or whatever and i <clears throat> it's like dang i i don't have time to be going shopping but I don't not want to take her shopping. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, I really didn't have that time to be uh out and about in the malls and in the stores and stuff like that. But it was like my granny. My granny uh used to come get me and, and do what I need to do, run my errands and all that stuff when I didn't have a car. Or if I didn't have a car and she had her car, she had nowhere to go, she would, you know what I'm saying, give me her car or whatever. But now I'm able to pay homage to her, and it's just I, I feel grateful for doing that and being able to do that because a lot of people don't get that. And the people that do get that, man, y'all missing out on a, a, a great thing because I have so much fun with my granny. Like, I wish she would let me video uh, record her. She don't. She always try to push the camera out the way. So I'm going to have to sneak and video record her. But my grandmother is so fun. She's so funny. Like, she's fun to be around. And I, I promise myself that um i would never been that grandchild that's that when my grandmother and my grandfather passed that i was gonna be that uh that grandchild i'd be like oh man i wish i would have spent more time with them i wish i wouldn't went over there i wish I, we could have did this i wish we should have i should have did that and I, I was not gonna be that grandchild i was gonna be that grandchild that was there and it's crazy because like my my sisters and them my sisters and brothers they're out and about and you know they 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 live in their lives or whatever and my cousins and them are living their lives they only get a glimpse of the stuff that i get i get to you know what i'm saying experience on a daily basis like i have so many stories of my grandparents and here go my granny right now uh yeah i got so many stories i'm gonna call her back y'all i'm I, like i'm gonna call her back but I got so many stories of them and just being around and hanging around them that, oh, my God, like I be talking to my when I be talking to my sisters and brothers and, them and telling them like what my grandmother and my grandfather said or like stories, they be cracking up. Even the people where work, they be like, man, I wish I could meet your grandmother. I wish I could have met your grandfather. Like the they interaction was just two old people like it, it, it just <laughs> like. So many stories are going through my head right now. It's just funny as hell to ha see them interact. I wish I would have recorded them, but like I said, my granny would be on it. Like, why you recording? Why you got your camera out? Ah, don't be taking a picture on me. You know, it it just it it's funny, and I'm glad that I got to experience that before my grandfather passed. Because, like I said, I got so many stories of when we was around each other, me helping take care of them that I got to experience and 
a lot of people don't get to experience that. Like, I got friends now around my age that be like, uh, I never got to meet my grandparents or my grandparents passed when I was so young. I don't remember them. And it's like, come over to the house. I promise you, like, my grandmother, like, some of my friends that been around her, but every time they, you know what I'm saying, talk to me, they be like, man, I met her granny. Her, her granny funny as hell. Her granny funny, funny. Like, some of the uh, carriers at the office got to experience my grandmother, you know what I'm saying, because she used to live on one of the routes where I um delivered that. And she would come out when the mail carrier come in, uh, come, would come in and deliver the mail, and she would talk to them and stuff and tell them that she was my grandmother. And I, I, be, <laughs> I used to tell her, like, Granny, don't claim me. Don't stop telling people that you're my grandmother because <laughs> they think you crazy. And uh, But they be like, oh, your grandmother's so dope, and, you know, she funny as hell and all this stuff. And, like, they would just come to the office and tell all these funny uh, stories, and it's just like, like my granny my granny for real for real she dope she my grandfather was the same way like he for real for real he dope and that's not to say that my my other grandparents like on my dad's side then they, they wasn't dope even like my step grandparents was dope like um I'm, the the guy that my mom actually married his mom like we grew up with her like right now bro like we can sit and talk about all the times like my granny used to get mad and rip her rig off and beat you with the wig and be cussing you out at the same time like that used to be so funny to me like it, it used to be funny when it was somebody else it wasn't funny when it was you but now that you think about it it's like man that shit was so funny <laughs> like we got on her nerves and on my uh stepfather's side like all my cousins when we was there we had to be like 20 25 deep like we I grew up in a big family so it was you know what I'm saying we was always into stuff you know what I'm saying and when she passed it's like I didn't get to see her for the last few years of her life and I felt like I missed out and it was like damn man like you know what I'm saying I got to see her like a couple of days before she um you know what I'm saying transition but it was like I missed I had a huge gap because I had moved and it wasn't even like I moved far. I moved 40 minutes away from my hometown. But when I uh, I had started in a post office and two years, you know what I'm saying, it took me to get uh, turned over. And I missed like two years like because I was always working. You know what I'm saying? I had a heavy schedule. It was seven days, 365, 360, because you get five day birth. But seven days, 360. And it was like I never knew when I had to go to work, so I missed out on that. Um, but I promised myself I wouldn't miss out on this. And even now I, I be kicking myself in the butt because I be acting so busy that I can't call my grandparents on my uh, dad's side. And I love talking to my granny because my grandmother is so humble. And my grandfather, he just act like it be the end of the world when he see me. Oh, my grandchild, granddaughter, granddaughter, come to me, granddaughter. I miss you. You know what I'm saying? And my granny saying now that he blind. So I do want to go and visit them. But off subject i'm just like that's just how grateful i am because i got to meet so many of my greats and i got to be in the presence of great wisdom and stuff like that like my granny she don't talk about her past but she you know what i'm saying march she did all that stuff when they was marching down there and uh in the south you know what i'm saying she came up here got herself together she got into a great church i love the church people i like going to church like they know me since i was jay high you know what i'm saying um even the pastor that we have now, I grew up with him. He ain't nothing but a couple of uh, couple of years older than me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm home there because she didn't put so she didn't invest so much into that church. My grandfather did too. You know what I'm saying? And I love the uh, way that he told me like he was out here running rampant, and my grandmother was a church going God fearing woman. And when they met each other, she told him like, "Yo." You want to, and, and I'm just paraphrasing, this is not what she actually said, but I'm paraphrasing, yo, you know what I'm saying, if you really want to be with me, you got to turn your uh, life over to God, and he was like, you know, once he did that, he became a better man, and I just love hearing stories like that, like, you chase after love, and love turned you into a better man, that's, I, I respect you for that, and you know what I'm saying, he died a happy man, because my grandmother was, you know what I'm saying, by his side, you know what I'm saying, it, I mean, I mean, my grandmother is just a beautiful person. Like, she dope. 
I don't be telling her that because she crazy. She think I'm crazy. <laughs> but if all, <laughs> I guess the apple don't fall too far from the tree. But no, like even now, like when she as 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 old as she is, she's still running and gunning it. Like she she's got a. It's just amazing because she still got a clear mind. She knows she's doing like my grandmother lived by herself. We lived together for, uh, at one point in time, but she lives by herself. She basically do everything by herself. You know what I'm saying? She can cook, clean, dress. She's very coherent. She, you know what I'm saying? She's still strong in the mind. <clears throat> and I like I I just think like a lot of people be saying how their grandparents is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my grandfather actually died of dementia, but he, um, he suffered from dementia, but, um, like they mind be gone, you know what I'm saying? And they, they can't do too much and they got to like really take care of him and they be upset and they got to have nurses coming in or they got to take them to the nursing home and all that stuff. And it's like, God blessed us, man. God really blessed us because she's still coherent. And that's crazy because my grandmother, Excuse me. My great grandmother, her mother, died past at ninety one. She was still healthy. You know what I'm saying? She lived by herself, walking around, coherent, and all that stuff. So I feel like I got good genes. You know what I'm saying? I I, I feel like I got a long, very long way because I'm only forty one. She ninety. So we got like a fifty. I ain't even forty one yet. So we got a we got a good fifty year gap. I got 50 years that I need to get on my grind and and, and just um, leave a great legacy for the next person so they can get on here and tell you how great I am because I had a great person, you know what I'm saying, leaving footsteps in the sand for me. Um, like, she just... I, I, I want to record her so bad. I want to record her. This lady is... <laughs> she just... I don't know where she be getting stuff that she be saying. Like, I know where she get it from. First of all, my grandmother, it, like I said, she old. She's very uh, religious. She's been a Pentecostal woman all all my life and most of her life. Because she's been in the church before my mom, like in the 60s. I know she's been going to the same church since 1960, whatever. So, um, she dope. It's crazy because my, my aunt that's still alive that we go see in Mississippi, uh, shout out to my Aunt Flo, her sister, her younger sister, man, my aunt, my aunt Flo dope too. You know what I'm saying? She's a beautiful black woman. Um, and I just love speaking to her as well, but it just, I mean, it's, it's so much like so much game, so much. I, I don't want to keep saying game. It's so much life lessons that she didn't bestow upon me. It's just like, bro. I'm just glad that I had somebody in my life like her. And I know a lot of people ain't blessed with that. And I, I have to thank God every day because every day is something different with her. You know what I'm saying? She really don't get into her like past details. But when she do get into them and she like to uh, share when she do share them, like I just sit there. I don't even say nothing. I just be quiet. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even say, mm hmm. I just sit and I listen because. I feel like it's hard for her to speak about it, what has been done to her. And so when she do speak about it, it's just like, shh, be quiet, Sean. Listen to this. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what you don't have to go through. Listen to what she fought for. Listen to what she had to go through so you can, you know what I'm saying, walk around here freely as the way that you walk around here. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I can't thank her enough. I can't thank God enough for allowing me to have somebody like that in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? Again, all praise to the most high. I hope y'all um great. I hope y'all get somebody great in y'all life like I got somebody great in my life. You know what I'm saying? And, again, I, I, I love my granny. I thank her and I love her. And I wouldn't even be me without her. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all finish enjoying y'all day. And hopefully I can start getting my videos out earlier. This, you know what I'm saying? The sun beaming in my face. It's it's kind of chilly out here, though. I'm finna go on in the house and do some housework. Maybe I can get a little bit of my, my own stuff done before tomorrow. Tomorrow Sunday, y'all. Before tomorrow. So, or well, I'm going to be putting this out on a Sunday, so... Y'all know what I mean. I, I, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Love y'all.